Egyptians mark the one-year anniversary of the January 25th revolution with the same message that brought down Mubarak last year, the popular demand for the removal of the regime. In Tahrir, thousands began to pack the square in the early morning. Before any of the dozens of marches descended on the square, it was already packed with people, flags and stages. But here, opinions in the current state of affairs in Egypt vary. It is also very difficult to agree on a certain group of people in this country right now. So I'm not sure if this is actually the right thing to call for the army to go right away. In Mohandasin, nearly 15 miles away from Tahrir, hundreds gathered during the afternoon prayer in preparation to march. Here, many wear black and mask their faces with the smiles of the revolution's many martyrs, including Mustafa Samir Ahmed. Sitting quietly in the middle of the rally is Faiza Abdul Hamid, Mustafa's mother. She holds on to the photograph of her son that has made his face a symbol of national resistance. <laughs> Then, with a loud roar, the march begins. Hundreds quickly turn into thousands. The march stretches around the street corners with no end in sight. Ala Abdel Fattah, a renowned Egyptian blogger, knows firsthand. He was arrested and thrown in jail for nearly two months for supposedly inciting violence against the military during the October 9th Mess Bureau demonstrations. We're hoping the fact that, that there is an elected authority would, would actually limit her violence a little bit. Uh, so the revolution would continue this year, but without you know as much bloodshed. But, but that's just who. You know, at the end of the day, the, what, what we are confronting is a network of interests that's so powerful um, and that's so entrenched within the state, and part of it is even international interests, um, so the price cannot be low. January 25th served as a reunification for many Egyptians. This march transcended class divides and ideological differences. The poor marched alongside the rich while the secularists, the Christians, and the conservative Muslims chanted side by side. In attempts to throw out revolts similar to last year, the military council announced it would release 2,000 of the 12,000 political prisoners arrested and on military trials following the revolution. The revolution will always be a day of unity between the people and their armed forces, who sided with the people, safeguarding the revolution and supporting the revolting youth. Field Marshal Mohammed Kantawi the told the country the police heard, and the army would not be present at the demonstrations and declared the dismissal of the hated emergency law, with the exception of, quote, thuggery. And today, after the people have had their voices heard, electing their representatives in the parliament, I have taken a decision to end the state of emergency across the country, with the exception of acts of thuggery. You convince fascists and you convince sadistic army generals to leave by staying on the street, because the only achievements of the revolution have come after pressure from the street. Even though they've been killing people, even though they've been shooting people's eyes out, even though they've been breaking our bones, even though they've been sexually violating us, we continue to come out on the street and say we are not scared. And that is how we get the military to leave. Itan Tawi said no emergency law except for thuggery. And then a few days ago they released Michael Nabil. Every day it's a different thing, which says to me they're desperate, they're confused, and they don't know what to do. And that is because of this street pressure right here.
However, the concessions did little to quail the public outcry seen throughout the day. 22 of the 28 governments across Egypt, including the Suez, Alexandria and Mansoura, held massive demonstrations calling for the immediate removal of the military junta. As the marches coming from the different districts converged with the Mohandasin march, the main bridge leading into Tahrir Square was temporarily halted by the sheer magnitude of people. All of the marches that started throughout the day have now flooded into the downtown area. January 25th and Tahrir Square will go down in infamy. It's one of the most important days, one of the most important locations in modern Egyptian history. The question for many people now is the direction of the revolution. Whether those who risk their lives and continue to fight against the government can take on their goal of removing the military council, or whether the military council will usher in a democratic system that many call facade.